The next challenge in this uh, series to do with Revolve is to have a go at the Secure challenge in the bottom left hand corner. So we're going to look at the Revolve again but this time we're going to look at how we can control the angle and create a multi-bodied part as you can see. So we're going to click on this here so we can actually have a look at the design that we're going to create. So you can see here what we've started off with basically is a hexagonal shape which has been revolved at 90 degrees and then we've created something called an offset and continued to go around creating a number of different revolves so there's four in total. So this is a good one to look at how to change the direction and the angle okay and we'll have a go at this now. So if we click on plus, click on create part studio after a few seconds it'll appear at the bottom. Again you can drag this uh, left to right and you can right click and you can rename it as well. So I'm going to just do rename that. Okay it just makes it easier to identify on the bottom especially if I start adding extra tabs. So let's have a look what we're going to do. So if we uh, look at this design here we're going to roll this back if I can grab this one here and we're going to have a look at this sketch. So I've created this sketch, okay, if you're looking at the origin, the centre of this hexagon, okay, is in line with the origin, it's 60 millimetres from there, and it's 30 millimetres in height. So let's have a go, let's click sketch, sketch on that work plane in the front, press N for normal, we're going to go up to here, polygon, we're going to hover over the origin to wake it up, okay, and we can go along here, you can see that the horizontal relationship has come up at the bottom of the constraint, I'm going to click once, okay, we're going to, you can see this one is, uh, again, the constraint's coming up again, so that's what we want, we're going to click again, we want six, and it's going to confirm that by clicking enter. You can click D for dimension, or dimension here, okay, to that center, and we're going to dimension, okay, the height of this as well, if I'm going to zoom in, Stop being lazy and click again and type in the size. And my brain is like a sieve, so it's 60. Okay, from there. So 60. Okay. And again, if you've done any of those wrong, like I just did, just double click on them, check your dimensions, and update them. So, what we're going to do now is click L for line. I've got a line. I'm going to create a line. Okay, which is actually, if I just click and do, okay, snapped to that point, there you go. So be careful to snap it to that point. We don't need to create a construction line, it could just be a solid line, that's fine. And we're gonna go up to Revolve. And if we have a look at this, what we did next, if I save that sketch, okay. We revolve that 90 degrees, okay, in the direction going behind the sketch. So what we've got selected, Okay, is this here? If you've saved it and it's unselected, you can just go back in and select. Now the axis, we're going to use this line here. We don't want full, okay? We want to choose a single direction and we want it 90 degrees. And you can click to confirm that and you can have a look at it there. So what we're gonna learn about now is you can actually flip this, okay? To be in front of the sketch, okay, behind it. And you can obviously change the angle as well, depending on what you need to dimension that to. So we've got 90 degrees, one direction. We're not going to use any of these others at the moment. We're just going to practice, okay, using this one direction. And in the next sort of exercise we'll do, we'll look at those, these in more detail. So we've also got new, because this is the first feature, okay, and we're clicking on solid as well. And we're going to confirm that. If you need to, you can go back into these and right click and edit, okay, the feature or the sketch if you need to. So what we're gonna do now is create a sketch, okay, on this, okay, surface there. I'm gonna click N. And what we're gonna do now is use a bit of a new tool, okay, which is offset. If you click on the center or that surface, okay, it'll give you an offset. You could drag this arrow in, click once and type in Okay, the offset which is five millimeters. And we can go up to here. If we turn this original sketch back on, okay, we've got that center line there we can use 
as well. So now if we go up to Revolve, okay, it's selected the sketch, the axis, we can use the same axis as well. And we can type in the angle we want. So let's have a look at what we did next. If I drag this back down, we created a sketch, okay, and I've gone, okay, 40, let's have a look, no, 90 degrees, not 45 degrees, 90 degrees. So again, we're going to go one direction and we're going to type in, okay, 90. So you see here at the moment, it's coming up with a bit of an error. And the reason it's got an error is because I'm adding. If I wanted to, I could remove it and I could have it in that direction there. And as you can see, it's creating, okay, a revolve cut going on the inside. So that's what I could do if I wanted to achieve that. But actually, I want to click add, okay, and I flip the direction the warning goes away because it's actually saying you are now creating okay a feature uh, what else we've we got we want it to merge okay with part one so that's the first bit because we're clicking add if I click new you will see here okay it creates two separate parts but what we want to do okay is click add so we're adding one direction okay of 90 degrees now let's have a look at what we did next. So this time I've created a sketch again on that one. Okay, and I've rotated it. If we have a look above, and also if we go into here as well, 90 degrees. But this time I'm going to show you something slightly different. So we spin that around, click sketch on that surface, N for normize or flatten it. We're going to go up here to offset. Okay, drag that in, click once and then type, oops, what did I misclick there, did I? So I click escape, if you ever go wrong, okay, and you misclick, just click it again. Okay, drag that in, okay, click and then type the dimension. So yeah, just be careful sometimes if you click an edge or something like that and make them with an error. Now what we're gonna do now, okay, is we're going to, okay, revolve this again. It's already selected. Now the axis, we've been selecting this axis here, which is fine, okay? But you don't need to select an axis, okay, which is a line, okay? You can use an edge, okay, like so. And you can even use a face as well. So you'll get the same results because the way we've drawn this design. So we're going to, this time I'm going to go, okay, one direction again. I'm going to go 90 degrees like so and we're merging it into part one if we have different parts we could select them under here but we're just merging it into that one which is fine and we click in add all right so that time we used a surface or an edge okay as our axis you don't have to use the original sketch okay if we go back into this one here again let's have a look what we got for the last bit we've got a simple offset but an offset on the outside this time and it looks like that is 45 degrees. Yeah. Okay. So we come back into here. We're going to sketch on this one this time. Click normize again. Go up to offset. Click that one. Okay. Just drag the arrow because this time we want it on the outside. Click again and type in five. And we can go up to here. Click on revolve again. So it's asking you, what do you want to revolve? What's your axis? It could be a curve again. It could be a face. It could be this here. And it's got a bit crazy because it's gone to full. We want one direction. Okay, 45. And again, you've got, okay, full control of this, of the angle, by moving it there or typing in there. Okay. And again, you've got, okay, control of the direction as well click the green tick and if we go up to here what we've got is the design that we okay have created and uh, desired hopefully so again if we right click on this and go assign materials we're going to type in here ABS and apply that we're going to go to this one here and let's have a look. So we're going to go down to display mass. Click on that. So 0.189. Okay. 
0.189. So there you go. So we've got that the correct dimensions. We revolved that at the correct angles, okay, and we've basically done that to a high level of accuracy. Okay, you can click escape from that. And again, if you need to, any of these features, any of the sketches can okay, be edited and redefined if you wish. Thanks for watching, and if you found this content helpful, please click like and subscribe, and also check out any other resources and videos created using the links in the description. I'll see you on the next one.